Oh yes. That really allowed me to hit, and hit the ball with my right side. If you're a senior golfer and you want to hit the ball further, then I have 11 important steps that you need to take to gain club head speed. It doesn't matter if you're feeling stiff or you're lacking strength, you can gain club head speed and hit the ball further. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is grip the club in the fingers of your hands. Uh, if you're a right hander and you're holding the, the club more in the fingers, you'll automatically grip the club stronger as well. The V points to the right shoulder. Okay, and allow your right hand or the V of your right hand to point in the same direction. This, this little tip will gain you oh, five to 10 yards, easy. The next step you need to take is to loosen all the important joints. And I'm talking not only about your hands, I'm talking about your hips, your shoulders, your arms. Just try and, and relax them before uh, you hit the shot. Just move them until you're feeling really loose. The next step might surprise you. Instead of gripping the club higher, grip down on the club. Make the club shorter. Making your driver slightly shorter will allow you to stand close to the ball. The club is just going to look that much larger and you can be able to swing really positively at the ball and hit it far. Okay, so uh, one or two inches makes a world of difference and it just gives you confidence. At the start of your back swing, hinge your wrist as soon as you can. Okay, remember we're holding the club as lightly as possible. But when I say soon, I mean right here. Using your hands earlier and more is essential because it will allow you to get into a good back swing position without having to over exaggerate the turn. I often see the way many golfers Keep your hands really quiet and they have to turn so much to get into the proper backswing position that they either stand up or, or bend their arms or do something uh, in, in that respect. If you can get your hands high enough during the backswing, then you've got gravity on your side. Just dropping your arms and hands will give you a lot more speed than you would normally have. And the nice thing is, using gravity means you don't have to create the power. The power is there. So the nice thing about hinging early is that you automatically lift the arms that way. Okay, and your swing thought should be to get your hands above your right shoulder. Okay, so I'm going to try to get my hands as high as possible and then just really drop them on the way down. Whoa. That was a lot higher than I would normally do, but I immediately noticed more power. Something that helps my students a lot is when I get them to get their right elbow um, as right handers below their right hand okay which which in other I could say it a different way try and get the club to point slightly more to the left this is what I see a lot but this is a real power position because from here you'll feel as though your elbow your shoulder is behind the club and you'll be able to hit the ball harder that way. Oh yes. That really allowed me to hit and hit the ball with my right side. Now let's talk about our feet or our heels. I'd like you to allow your left heel to lift up from the ground. 
Okay, so that'll help you to turn your hips more and then it'll help you to turn your shoulders and your upper body more as well. Okay, so if you don't have that much flexibility, this will help you to get your back pointing towards the target. And the important thing here is to allow the heel to rise. Now, on the way down, the first thing I want you to do is to lower your arms. If you ever look at pros, you'll see that the, the first movement of the hands and arms is that direction and not towards the ball. So the first thing you do, and I'm talking about the transition, don't worry about the turn or anything. Just lower your arms. The great thing about doing that is that you'll automatically shift your weight slightly and turn your hips. It's really important to lower your arms before you turn. So I'm going to just, I'm only going to think about lowering my arms and let's see what happens. make my back swing and I'm thinking that back to your left heel you've turned your, bo your body your heel came up you dropped your arms now try to press your left heel into the ground what this does, it activates your hips, your lower body, which is a great uh, source of power. If you look at Gary Player, the Masters, have a look at his left heel, and you'll see right at the start of the downswing, he just presses that heel into the ground, and then he hits the ball from the side, from behind, and not from over the top. Okay, so I'm going to allow my heel to rise and they're going to step into the ground impact what can we do during impact now if you start the downswing correctly if you lower your arms step into the ground and if you film yourself and you see that your arms are moving in this direction and not towards the ball then you are allowed to then you must use your right side your right hip your shoulder your hands release through the ball use the strongest side of your body as long as you start this way you can hit the ball as much as you want with your right side so i'm really going to use my right side and i'm not going to come from out to in because i'm going to start the downswing correctly I'm going to really release as well with my right hand. Let's do it. That really does feel good. Pushing your right side forwards. You've got a lot of weight on that side. And you'll hit the ball forwards like a boxer would do. And not sideways. My last tip for you. Is just as important as the others and it's got to do with the, the follow-through now i notice how a lot of golfers stop now if I, my swing ends here then i really got to hit the ball i got to swing hard to hit the ball far but if my swing ends here then my swing can be more flowing through the ball so i want you to swing uh, so that your club hits your left shoulder or the spot you're next to your neck okay so i need your club to swing quickly through the air after you've hit the ball and come in this position you'll see so many pros coming into this position so this means that you need to allow your arms to bend during the follow-through holding them holding them straight is not going to help okay so 
allow the elbows to bend so that you come in this position and my finish is going to be here enjoy the ball flight enjoy hitting the ball further now i'm sure at least five six seven of those points are just right for you watching this video right now go out there try it all 11 steps and i wish you the best please subscribe to golf beginner world and look forward to seeing you soon again